What's up everyone? This is Mini coming at you with patch update notes for World of Warships patch 10.10 .10 in 10 minutes or less. Quick reminder before we get into the video, don't forget to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to help me keep making great content. First big update in patch 10.10 .10 is that the fifth season of Ranked Battles will start on the 17th of November and run through the 2nd of February. Available maps will be Hotspot, Islands of Ice, Shards, Sea of Fortune, Northern Waters, and Tears of the Desert. And in patch 10.11, they will add North, Crash Zone Alpha, Sleeping Giant, and Neighbors to the map pool. All maps will be Domination, except for Tears of the Desert, which will remain as Epicenter. Now, the season will be all at Tier 10 and Super Ships for each of the three leagues, and it will be 7v7. Important to note, there will be six sprints, and no submarines will be eligible to be played in ranked battles this season. With the Super Ships, you have six Super Ships, the Satsuma, the Hanover, the Kond, the Annapolis, the Yamagiri, and the Zorki. In order to get the Super Ships, you will have to navigate to the Armory, and in the Armory, scroll down to the Super Ships, which is the little boat with a star. There are ten recurring random bundles you can get to start, and then they will update this. Six of them contain 100 coal, four of them contain all six uh, Super Ships for a one-day rental, so four days of rental total. In order to get the super ship tokens you will need, and you will need four per random bundle, you will have to complete combat missions. Now, for the first week, the missions can only be completed in tier 10 ships in co-op battles. You need to earn 500 base XP, and each time you do that, you will get one super ship token. However, starting next week, you will be able to earn the tokens 20 times uh, in ranked and four times in co-op and I believe they will up be updating that each week the second new mode that is back is arms race and that is live right now arms race is of course where you capture buffs that enhance your team and then try to outdo the enemy to a thousand points or death of all ships um, buffs will continue to appear two minutes after spawning and the carrier will appear eight minutes into the game take one and a half minutes to capture and grant 10 points per season held this will be a 12v12 arms race season uh, where it will take place at tiers 9 and 10 and you may division with up to two other people. Maps will be Islands of Ice, Sleeping Giant, Warrior's Path, Mountain Range, and Northern Waters. There are two new buffs that have been added. Armament damage, which will increase the amount of damage your uh, shells do or torps, etc. And then the maximum HP value of ships and squadrons of planes will have a buff that can increase that. Additionally, you will earn extra XP and credits for picking up buffs, and your team can only stack three of the same buff. Any buffs picked up after that for that buff type will not stack any more bonuses, however you will still get the credit and XP additions. They have done a buff and a nerf to the HP regen, um, so they have fixed it so that the damage healed by the HP regen buff first takes care of damage that has been done that cannot be healed by repair party before moving to repair party healable damage so that citadel damage those torpedo damages those will be healed first by the hp regen buff however they have lowered the amount uh it heals per second they have also removed the consumable reload ship speed increase and rudder shift time reduction and aircraft engine cooling reduction buffs and finally buffs will spawn in neutral waters more often Next up, Clan Battles will be returning in patch 10.10 .10 as well. That will go live next week on November 17th and run through January 16th. It will be a 7v7 season at tier 10. Important to note, there will be no CVs and a max of two battleships, no identical ships. What that means is that you will not be able to take in multiple of one ship. So I cannot take double Venezia in my clan, etc., so on and so forth. Two other things important to note, despite the fact there are no CVs this um, clan battle season wargaming has said they will be added back in the future and also bans will still occur starting about one week to two weeks after the season starts so be ready to be playing different ships next up keep an eye out for a combat mission group that will be appearing in your combat missions those will uh be there will be five themed combat mission groups for the nova risk and you will complete them to earn expendable camos and signals and if you complete all five of those you will earn the tier six russian battleship that is a premium that just came out the nova R nova risk of course that will come with a six point commander as well as a port slot on the important changes non-game edition side, they have the changes that they have added to submarines. Submarines, of course, are still in testing throughout this patch, and as we already said, they are not available in ranked, so you will only be able to play them in randoms in co-ops. 
you have two different types of torpedoes on tier 8 and 10 ships now. Tier 6 still only gets the homing torps, but tier 8 and 10 get both. So the first type, in this case on the Blau, the Mark 29, is your traditional homing torpedo. However, they have reduced the maneuvering, so it can't make those crazy turns we saw on the ships. Um, it also has a... it unlocks from the ship at a further distance away, so the ship has more time to dodge. And two pings does not deal increased damage. You have a second type, the alternative torpedo, in this case the MIE, that can deal increased damage. So if you hit two pings on a ship and then the torpedo hits the ship, it will deal double damage. So that'll take the maximum damage from 11,600 up to 23,200 per torp. It's important to note that if you hit only one ping, it reduces the detectability by 25% down to 1.8 kilometer detectability. And the double damage only happens if you hit the ship's torpedo protection belt. If you hit it on the bower stern, you will not deal double damage. Additionally, it can adjust vertically, going up or down, depending on depth you're at, but it cannot adjust horizontally, so you have to lead the enemy ship properly. Next up, subs can only detect two kilometers away at operating depths, and Warga and here's where I'm not sure exactly how Wargaming means this. It said something about not while underwater. I'm not sure if that means that when you drop to maximum depth, you're no longer going to be able to detect enemy ships at all, or if it remains at the two kilometers. I'm waiting for clarification on that. Hope to have that and update you guys soon. Additionally, the submarine's detectability only drops when you get to periscope and maximum depth, so you can no longer take your sub out, take it down to operating depth just below the surface where you're uh, not losing battery and have lower detection. You either have to be wasting battery or you have to be fully spotted. You have no choice. Next up with that is the addition of Division Stars. Now, Division Stars are back. You'll be able to get three stars per clanmate. One for victory and then two for the new achievements because Division Achievements have also been added. So if you scroll over to your profile and go to Achievements, you will see five new achievements. Coordinated Attack, Strike Team, Shoulder to Shoulder, Brother in Arms, and General Offensive. If you get a Coordinated Attack, which is seven enemy ships destroyed by your Division, you will get an extra star. And if you get Strike Team, which is 50% damage of the total normal HP of all enemy ships in your Division, you will get your third star. And those will, of course, get you various uh, rewards such as flags, credits, XP, etc. In the armory, there's several new things that have popped out. First off, random bundles are available for 1111, as well as various other ones. You also have a new free recurring random bundle down here, Secure Supplies, which gives you the standard credits, signals, coal, accounts, and doubloons, as well as one you can pay for over here for Full Moon, which gives you extra coal, Elite Commander XP, and premium flags. The Black Friday ships will be available this patch. That is, of course, the Saipan, Palmer, and Yoshino, Loyang, and Dunkirk, this patch. Uh, there will be both standard Black Friday containers and premium Black Friday containers containing different drop rates for said ships. In the Research Bureau, the Gibraltar is now available for 59,000 Research Bureau points. That is, of course, the Tier 10 United Kingdom cruiser that only fires AP. And then up in regular ships, if you scroll over to the coal section, you will be able to purchase the Tulsa for 228,000 coal, which is the Tier 9 American cruiser that is a mini Des Moines stylized. Finally, starting one week after the patch opens, New Year's bonuses will be available. What this And these will run until the end of patch 10.11, so to the beginning of January. For tier 5 to 7 ships, for your first victory during the event for them, or for 300 base XP on the ship, you will get 750 coal. For tier 8 to 9, you will get 75 steel. And for tier 10, you will get one New Year's certificate. Now, New Year's certificates can be changed... Uh, exchanged at a one-to-one -one rate for normal Santa containers or at a three certificate to one rate for big Santa containers or a five certificate to one rate for mega containers. Of course, Santa containers, which will go live next patch, are the containers that will give you the chance to get ships that are no longer available in World of Warships. Naval battles has also been changed in patch 10.10. .10. It will no longer be against one clan. Your clan will be put into a group of 25 to 50 and your rewards will be given based on the number of stars earned as well as where you place in your group of clans. In patch 10.11, this will switch to being once every four weeks and it will go back to the more standard style. Soviet aircraft carriers are of course now out fully. You may of course research and purchase your Nakamov and begin playing it in randoms if you uh, uh, have enough XP on your Pobeda. The German battleships, while they are still in early access, you can no longer earn German tokens. Uh, you can only purchase German tokens, so where you are is about where you're going to get to with those. 
Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like the video. Make sure to comment telling me what you're excited or worried about with the patch. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more great content. This is Mini, signing off.